My friends, in today's gospel, we have seen an episode of miraculous healing. Jesus heals a man who is deaf and has a speech impediment. The people of that region brings a man, brings this man to Jesus and asks Jesus to perform a healing. And Jesus performed two gestures, different gestures on him. And what are they? The first gesture, Jesus took that man aside, far from the crowd. Why so? Because Jesus does not want to impress people. He does not seek popularity or success, but always wishes to do good. In today's culture, we like to show off our own achievements, our successes, our charities. But Jesus is teaching us today to this small gesture that good can be done without blowing one's trumpet, that we should do good things charitable things quietly. That is the first gesture we see in today's gospel. The second gesture where Jesus put his finger in the deaf man's ear and touches his tongue with saliva. This gesture refers to the incarnation. It means that Jesus understands another man's suffering, another man's struggle. And likewise, Jesus too understands our own pain, our own troubles, our own suffering. And this gesture is also speaks about Jesus' own humanity, that he is human like us, who understands people's struggle and the pain. At the same time, Jesus wants this miracle not of his own, but as a communion with his father. And this we see when he looked up into heaven and says the word ifata, which means be open. And immediately the man was healed. His ears were opened. His tongue was released. And for this man, this healing was an opening to others, an opening to God. What an amazing miracle, isn't it? What lesson we can learn from this miracle or perhaps from this gospel? Firstly, it teaches us to reach out to others concretely. It teaches us to reach out to the needy who are suffering with our actions and not our mere words. On this feast day, we have gathered here the nativity of Our Lady, a mother is a perfect example of concrete love, of concrete action. When Mary was pregnant with Jesus, she reached out to her cousin Elizabeth during the time of distress. Like Mary, we need to show our love in a concrete way. We need to show our love in more in action than mere words. The second lesson that we can learn from this gospel is like Jesus, we can always say that word, ifata, be open to others. Be open, opening ourselves to the needs of others. And sisters who are suffering and need to help them, not by being selfish and hard-hearted. Today Jesus is telling us to be open be open to others, be free, free from all our fears, be free from all our sinful ways, be free from all worries, temptation and addictions, so that we may connect ourselves to God and to others. When we are free from all our judgmental, when we are free from all our fears, we will be able to be a person for others. So the real question is, am I ready to be free from my own sinful ways and start a new life, a life of generosity and self-giving? Am I ready to connect myself to God and to others? Let us ask our Mary, our mother, 
whose feast and birthday we celebrate today, to be like her so that we may completely open ourselves to God's love and mercy and attune to God's voice daily in our life. And doing this, we may be able to live in communion with God and with others. For this grace, let us pray during this Eucharistic celebration. Amen.